All right, hello there, guys, and welcome back to another um, Python tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be talking about passing uh, functions between, uh, passing variables between functions. Um, as I realised, someone didn't know how to do that uh, in one of my previous videos. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to do that now, um, and I've got a few different ways that you can do it. Um, some probably more efficient than others, but it's your preference down to how you do it. Uh, so starting with the first method, we're going to define function 1, Ooh. like that, and we're going to put a print statement, uh, input statement in here, so user in equals input write something. That's going to be where the user inputs. Then we're going to do function uh, we actually need to make another function before we do this. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it just makes it easier. Function 2. Um, and we're going to go function... Ooh. I'm going to pass user into that. I'm going to use text here. And we're going to print text. Ooh, text. Now we need to call the first function, so function 1. Alright, so now we're going to switch over to uh, the other preset I have, which is down here. Um, and we can drag this up a bit more, so it's a bit bigger. And we're going to run the code. So we're going to write something, so say hello world. And you can see it prints it even though they weren't in the same function. Now let's go back and explain how that works. So in the function, you write in like here it gets called, it runs into this, runs user in, which you input your text, it gets that variable, uses it here when it's calling function two, converts it to this variable name and prints this variable name. We can, I can show you this using uh, step throughs. Uh, so if I use a debugger, if I can get it to work. There we go. Step through. Right. Now when this is finished loading up, you can see where the code starts. Actually, we might start it here. Um, you can see the blue line at the top that's moving around, jumping around. And it's finished, I think. No, jumps between the two. But there you go, now it's finished. And it's printed out the write something. So you could write something. I don't think it works actually. Never mind. Doesn't work. For, oh, wait. No, no, no don't, don't worry. It'll work. Alright, anyway, let's move on to the second uh, part of this. So, the second way of doing this. Um, <coughs> You can define, say, a test return. Return, and this is going to have the same as this function, pretty much. This line, anyway. I'm going to copy this, take it down to the next line, and down here we're going to call a return. Return, and then we're going to use it in one. So in one. Oop. Okay, then we're going to go define print here. So this is going to be where the print statement is. So we're going to call test, that's the variable name, equals, and this function name here. So that's going to assign everything that's in this and being returned by this to that variable. And then we're going to print. test as print here. Um, this does it. Alright, now we're going to call print here because that's the only function we need, so that's this one. This one here is going to step through print here, read the test variable, read that it needs to run test return, it's going to go up to here, run test return, return the user the answer of test return, print the test, and then finish. 
Um, obviously, I still have this code up here at the moment, so we'll just hash that out. So it doesn't run. Doesn't really matter about indentations here. Uh, anyway, so now if I just skip down to the uh, command window, um, we have the second part. Um, as you can see, when you type something, it comes out like it would. And that's the second um, second one. Okay, so <coughs> we have it run to here, run into this function, to the test variable, reads the test variable as the uh, test return function, runs test return function, asks for user input, returns the user input, and prints the user, prints the variable for this test. And uh, yeah, that's how passing around functions uh, variables work. It's just uh, I was expanding on someone else's point in a previous, not a previous video, um, in a previous like tutorial help thing for someone because I realised they didn't know about passing variables, um, as their code didn't have any variables being passed, and that that's what was causing some of the errors in their code. Um, hmm. So uh, thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video, um, make sure to check out my other ones, um, if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see, or something you need help with that I can make a video about, then uh, comment below, um, or send me a private message, um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.